at yet another thing that Jungkook has introduced to me. These modeling masks are not, they're, I don't think they're a new thing. I feel like maybe they're getting a little bit more traction these days because I've had this even like, remember if you've been on my channel for a long time, you might have seen me um, when I got laser like the, at the dermatologist and uh, at the time they did this sort of mask on me. But it's, uh, it's a kind of mask that a lot of dermatology clinics in Korea do to help cool down the skin after maybe a laser treatment. And in general, just to like lower the temperature of your skin. This one is by Lindsay. It's the cool tea tree modeling mask. And um, they have several versions of this at all of Young. I really don't understand when skincare is like, oh, cooling. Like, cooling masks and cooling shampoos. I never understood. Like, yeah, they feel nice and fresh for like five minutes. But then after that, like, are there any benefits for me? But if I had to like describe this in one simple sentence, it would just basically be like those black pore sheet masks that you rip your face with, off with but it's more so like it's delivering nutrients to your skin and then when it's all dry it's like this gummy sheet mask that you can just peel right off. This was on sale so I only paid like less like less than three dollars for this um, which I don't mm, I don't know I don't know if I would keep buying these because they're kind of like this bulky shit and like I have no space for these and this actually isn't my first time trying this modeling mask at home. Uh, I did buy a different version and I tried it and it was uh, it was kind of cute, uh, but you know what, we're gonna do it again on camera, do it for the vine, do it for the views because apparently that's all I care about and um, I only want money, popularity, and attention. I don't care about anybody else apparently. <laughs> oh shit, the powder is really fine. It's almost like bleaching powder if you bleach your hair and have, have bleaching powder at home. The dust gets everywhere. So you got your powder here and it does come with like a little spoon. But I don't really use a spoon. I have my own like little, hold on. I have like this little silicone spatula thing from the, uh, Nature Republic. Uh, and it helps you apply like masks and things to your face. But for this, all you literally have to do is just add water to the line. Like right here. And I don't think I put enough last time because it dried really quickly. So I need to put maybe a little bit more than I did last time. I'm sorry, I don't have like proper setup so you probably can't see what's going on in here. <sighs> this is some like DIY slimes kind of shit right here. ASMR DIY slimes relaxing. No music. No talking. As you can see it's kind of getting harder. Oh let me just like get this shit all over. Oh my god let me just let me get on my carpet. How about that? Get some on my carpet. How about that? Shit. Please do this like in the bathroom and not in front of like expensive lighting and filming equipment. If I definitely, oh my God, I keep getting it all over me. It really smells like bubble gum though. Not that that fucking matters. It gets harder and harder to mix though, which in turn makes it harder and harder to put it on your face. Oh shit. Did I not, I don't think I put enough water. Oh shit. Oh my god! But you know what? I'm just gonna fucking use my hands. I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I always see videos of this on Instagram and they're like, applying it all smooth and like, precise. Girl, I'm over it. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> it's been several days since I last tried it and this time I washed my face and uh, I picked up another one. I went on YouTube to see like, how other people were using it and it seems to me that because um, it also happened the first time that I used it. It was just really, really thick. And I remember the very first time I tried modeling masks was in the, uh, I might have mentioned it, uh, the first time I tried to record this, in the Pibuwa, the dermatology clinic. And it was really smooth and really, like, that really smooth rubbery sort of thing. But the first time I tried this, which was, you know, the first time I tried it was fine, but it was really thick and really, like, clumpy, which is, seems to be the case for the other people on YouTube that tried it. So this time, I'm going to try putting it in a separate bowl and adding like water to fill this thing up without any of the powder in there and we'll see if that will make it any less um clumpy hopefully it will make it more soft and easier to apply so hopefully it doesn't it's not too rubbery or not rubbery but hopefully it's not too like watery the more i mix it hopefully it will turn more um rubbery it's definitely getting a lot thicker which is a good thing. It looks much smoother than it was looking before. Cross our fingers. I have to say that putting it in this bigger bowl right here makes it so much easier to stir because in the other one it was just not... It was like the, the dust was flying everywhere and it's hard to keep the product in the actual 
cup, so, uh... Okay, this is definitely how I feel like it should look. So I'm really excited now, because I was afraid that it just wouldn't work. Oh, shit. Yes! This is it! Hold on, let me get my other, like, the brush I used to apply masks. Alright, maybe I should apply, I should have applied, uh, this water. <laughs> <laughs> can I be part of like, can I be part of the Avengers now? That was a really bad joke. I am so sorry! If you're wondering what this side looks like, there's not really much going on on this side. It's just like the other side, but just like, moist. So that was way more successful than I thought it was going to be. What I did have to do though was lie down so that it would stop like dripping off my face, but within like a few minutes after I had stopped recording that last clip, it already started drying because it looks like it's still wet, but when you touch it, it's actually like really rubbery. In my skin, oh man, she is soft. She is smooth. She is moist. I still don't really understand the point of like cooling, like the whole cooling thing. Um, it does have tea tree, so I'm assuming it's good for acne. If I had to choose between, you know, any of the types, I'd probably just stick with like maybe the moisture one. If you're like me and you enjoy doing like the one pack a day thing in Korea, it's like a sort of trend sort of thing called iri irpek, which means one day one pack. And this doesn't just count for like this sort of mess, but any like maybe like a sheet mask or something. Rather than like switching between types, like between like whitening, brightening, wrinkle, moisturizing, acne, and all that, it's better to just stick to one for you know, for for a while at least, and then um, you'll be able to see the effects of it. But anyway, yeah, I would definitely recommend for this one specifically because I have seen other ones that other people are using, and it seems like they could just stick water right in the packaging that it's in, mix it, and it comes out uh, perfectly fine. But this one I found from the ones that, the few that they have at Olive Young, this is the most affordable. But I do definitely recommend putting it into a separate bowl and like mixing up like the way I was doing. And maybe, um, I didn't put the water all the way up, kind of just like here. You might even want to add a little, a little bit less so that's not as runny, but I definitely recommend this sort of mask if, if you want sort of like an upgrade to like a regular like sheet mask. Honestly, they both look nearly the same, but sheet mask, all like the effect looks nearly the same, but sheet mask might be a little bit easier. This is just more like a really fancy type of thing. I really don't know why these are getting so much popularity these days. You know what, maybe I would just stick to sheet mask. Only because I don't, you don't have to deal with this shit. With a sheet mask, you just put it on, you take it right off and you're, you're good, but that's when you have like all this residue and shit. Maybe I just didn't put it on properly. It, with this sort of mask, it is more work. As you can tell. But you know what? My skin is feeling really soft, really clean, really, like the pores look smaller. And, um, it probably doesn't look like that to you, but to me, my skin tone seems brighter, at least a little bit. Probably would make more of a difference between, or like, if I consistently use it, but this is more for just for fun so that you can see, um, this sort of mask. Because I feel like not everyone knows about this mask. Um, and Young will inform me of this, because I had no idea. Even though I did do it before, it's just... Um, I didn't know they had like an at-home variant. What this is really good for though is if you have like maybe you got sunburned or you went through like a skin treatment, it really really helps cool down the skin and like I mentioned before they actually do do this after treatment so that it will cool down the skin. I don't know if this will be available on like Amazon or something, I'll see if I can find it. If there's any other alternatives I'll try to link them down there for you so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,